Good day, this is Boss D. And in today's video, we are going to change the current Q-Box garages due to its downsides and potential issues. Here are some reasons why I have to replace the old one. Integration bugs with third-party UIs or apps. Some users report issues when using custom interfaces like the NPWD QBX Garage's phone app integration. For example, owned vehicles may not display in the app after a fresh QBox install, even if they store correctly in the garage. This can require cache clears, full server restarts, or reinstalls to resolve, and it's tied to JavaScript errors in the app's front end. Vehicle spawning and persistence problems. A known 5M engine bug can cause server spawned vehicles to be unexpectedly deleted even while a player is driving them. Here is my recommendation script for you as a replacement of current garages. It is a free open source garage script for ESX and QB core frameworks. It has been updated to support QBox as well, making it a viable option for modern QBox based servers. It is, is generally a solid choice for QBox servers, especially if you're looking for a free, customizable garage system without the complexity of building one from scratch. Follow me for the installation of this script. Make sure you watch it carefully to avoid errors errors. You have errors, you may ask in the comment and I will do my best to fix it. Alright, so this is my real voice guys and I'm having trouble with the English. So I have a link in the description, you just have to copy that and then open the Chrome and then paste it here and you will see the same thing like this. So at the releases you can see the latest icon right here. So it being, it's being said that it is, you know, latest version. So thanks for the Lonar script for making this script as a free version. Actually, you can join to their Discord and they do have a lot of scripts available on their TBEX. Now, you have to click this green button right here and then you'll see the source code. You just have to click the source code then it will download it directly to your download folder. You just have to open this one and then use a WinRAR and then extract it here. Now, once it's it extracted you have to rename this file right here so just remove the numbers here to make it work properly and make it as a lunar underscore garages you, just, you then have to copy this one or you can cut this one and then go back to your framework resources now actually i'm using a qbox framework and then here we go, we have to go to resources and then today I'm going to put this here on the asset folder. Now let's paste it here and there Computer you go. One, five you just have to minutes. open this Left one. Or time is up. Sorry about that guys now. Open this one and here at a com config you can adjust everything here, you can edit this one. As you can see guys, as you can see guys, here we go, you can edit this one. So the below codes are for the garages or the locations of the garage. And there we go, if you're using a key system or not using, then you can choose from true or false. You can change this by false and true. So let's try to make this false. Then here we go, that's okay. So, uh, I want it false and the max distance, you can adjust the max distance here. Um, I think the 10 is good, so I'm going to save this one, then close this up. And then, let's go back, there's an installation of this, you know, script. So, don't forget this to install first before running your 5M server. So here we go guys, so there's an options you can choose from. So today we have this, you know, contract here. We have to add it to our server. So we go back to our resources and then go to OX folder and look for OX in inventory. So anyways, guys, I'm using OX inventory because it is a Q box and I'm not, a Q I'm not using a QB core. 
and here we go we have to go to uh, the web folder and we have to add here the image inside of images folder of OX inventory now let's go back to the resources uh, to the script that we have so here we go here we go in the lunar garage so I will make an op uh, I will open a new tab for this so that I will not you know as a shortcut you know then here we go here is the installation this is for your database base so you can choose from ESX OX and Cubicore so um, let's go back here and OX inventory then go to your data folder here we go and then choose items open this one so I'm currently using a visual study uh, visual studio basic visual studio code sorry about that guys and we have to copy this in order to to add this item contract so open the the OX and then copy this line of code then go back to items then go down at the bottom and then add the item code and there you go you can adjust that if you want but today I will save it and then that's it that's it guys so now I have to open the Heidi SQL to add or to add a date uh, to add this into our database okay so here we go make sure you choose your uh, proper database actually I'm using a lot of frameworks right now but then that's okay so here we go this is it um in cubicore you have to delete something here but currently we're using cubox so we're not going to do that then we have to go back to the installation folder sure about that guys um okay So now, since we are Cubox, we're going to open the Cubicore because it is related to uh, Cubox and Cubicore are Computer almost the same. One is still. So we have to copy this line of code here. And then let's go back to Heidi SQL. And let me close this one because I already added something before so this is the default one so when you click that query computer at the top, one time is uh, up you, uh, you will choose this um you will see this one you can paste the code right here okay make sure that everything is right and correct in this portion because if you do something wrong then the script will not work properly then click the execute button right here a play button and then as you can see it's a green code it means it's good and there's no problem with it okay now you have to restart your 5m server but today I'm not closing the console using the command from but I will open the TX using the Chrome okay now you have to type in local ho localhost 40 120 then there you go guys this is my 5m server and I am going to restart this one in order to add the new changes okay but then don't forget to delete the default Qbox garages so you just have to open the Qbox folder and once it's open you you have to delete this one if you want to uh, if you want a backup of this you can choose a winrar then you have to add is or archive this one using a winner all right then if you want to to revert back to the previous then you just have to unarchive it okay pc one dong 
Pilan ni Dong? Yes. So actually guys, on my first installation of this, I actually have problems. But then I fix it, okay? Then if you have problems too, you can comment down below. And I will try to help you with that. Okay. Now, um, you have to restart your server now. You just have to click the button restart here. Because I'm currently using a local host 4120 on the browser to open the TX console. Okay. And continue. Now, we have to wait until the server has been restarted. Okay. And here we go guys, we're inside of the city and as you can see, the garage's icons are now up inside of our 5M server. So we go there and as you can see guys, the UI is, you know, E to open garage and G to enter <coughs> interior. So here we go, there's an option you can choose from, the personal vehicles and the society vehicles. So guys, if you don't know, the society vehicles is for whitelisted job like for example you're a police you can add a car there and then the uh, co-workers of yours can now use that car inside of that society garages uh, every time they store the garage it will directly store inside of society vehicles now here we go the personnel i already have a car inside so that's the previous car that i have before so it's active here but it's not located inside of the garage because it's wa it was impounded you know you can go to impounded location you can go to the impound location to get that one and then when you press g guys you will get you will go inside of your garages and then if you have cars inside you will see it here okay now if you want to go or you if you want to go exit, you have to go here at the elevator and then press E to exit this garage. Okay. And here we go, guys. I think it's working properly. Now, to make sure that it's it, it has no problem, we have to go to the vehicle shop and buy some cars. Okay now here we go guys i will choose this car no 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 not th not this one i will choose the the blue one this one all right so let's buy the vehicle then let's go to the garage and let's try to garage this one and there you go it's working properly and there's no problem with it guys Another feature about this is there is a contract item which you can use. So you have to, uh, you know, choose a car. And then, of course, we need the contract. So currently, we don't have that contract on our hand yet. So let's give item one and contract. And there we go we have to use this one so you have to use this near beside the car so you can transfer this there you can transfer this directly to the society by doing this one and finally the car is already added to the society and you can garage this anytime then when you open the garage the car is not inside of your personal garage but it is located inside of the society garage so actually you can still use this one you can and some other people that is in your society can still able to use that car okay now so this is it for today's video guys i hope you like it and i hope it helped with you guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and adios mio bye bye